So, let's talk about it. You know, sea of the land, sea of the land, and uh, it brings you good luck and good fortune to eat it. Liars. <gasps> Just do it. You're good. Gonna... It's... happens when... <laughs> Classic Dixie. Do we have any dino Ew! I threw up. That was not good. It's a very dramatic scene. No. Yeah. Christian almost puked. You have a child! What do you, like, <laughs> think is gonna so happen? You up here. Oh, I wish it, I wish I had like more time. Cause imagine if I hit a hundred mil a year after hitting a mil. Was the ninety five not enough for you? <laughs> well, I was just like saying like even number. Well, right. Girl, you better chill. Okay, so I just did a reaction to this video of the D'Amelios and James Charles having dinner with a chef. And I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying, like, just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticism of the girls. There's a chef making the food. They're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food. And they're 19. They're young. But I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get really famous, a lot of followers really quickly. They think they're entitled to 100 million. They complain that they only have 95 million followers. They complain that they have a personal chef and it's just unbecoming. And I don't think it's something to be embarrassed about because they are young girls, but to be catty and bratty in the comments when the, people are just like, hey, we're kind of like, this isn't cool behavior. It's just trying to help them learn and ultimately not get canceled because this kind of attitude, it won't get you far. Basically, my team knows I throw up a lot. I could throw up at the smell, the thought, or the taste of anything. Okay, so this is coming as constructive criticism and not hate whatsoever. Um, this was not an apology, girl. This was not a sincere apology. You're making excuses after excuses after excuses. And you are 19, so you're a legal adult. I, Charlie's a, it's a little different. But she is saying in this clip that her team knows that she'll puke at anything, at the smell of anything. If that's the case, why set her up in this situation with a professional chef in a home getting a private meal cooked? Are they setting up her up for a sabotage? Do they want to make her look bratty? Do they want her make hated? Was this all a PR stunt just to get more views and followers to her? Because if they were going for comedic effects, simple lifestyle, why not feed her fear factor style stuff like cow tongue or pig's heart or stuff they used to feed them? And Charlie's saying, let's have dino nuggets instead with a renowned chef in a private setting. Suspicious. Get a new team, girl. disrespecting the fact that I'm still a human being is not okay at all. And people making fun of the fact that it's just, like, the other thing is some people are just getting involved just to get involved. And like, I'm just gonna say it, Trisha Paytas, like this is not, sorry, just you have been completely rude to me multiple times saying I'm she doesn't have a personality. She can't dance. She's basic. Like, you have your own problems. Please stop worrying about mine. Um, and that's all I have to say on that. Quite honestly, I just, like, please stop talking about me. I just, you're not a very nice person. <laughs> Sorry. So Charlie called me out on her live. Now Charlie is a mind, so I'm going to try and just handle this with literal kid gloves because she is a child and I understand that. It's concerning how her parents raised her and that she's hanging out with James Charles because now she has adopted James Charles' mentality of the keep my name out of your mouth. She told me to stop talking about her and that she's been rude when she, that I've been rude 
when she's literally the most followed person on social media. That's what she signed up for. Um, and I haven't been rude. I've given constructive criticism uh, as far as this situation goes because I really do feel for her and I do think it is uh, her parents' poor raising that gave them the manners that they have. And she lumped me in a category of people telling her, to, which I've never encouraged nor have I encouraged or anything. I was always saying stuff with constructive criticism. She specifically goes on to say, Trisha Paytas, you have your own problems. Stop worrying about mine. As if to say, I'm the crazy one on the internet. I'm the mess. Nobody likes me, blah, blah, blah. And that's, hey, that's that's totally fine. And I'm not worried about you. I'm, I'm commentating on poor behavior because that's the only way you're going to be able to grow and change. And it looks like you have remorse. It looks like you're upset and crying. And I am completely sorry if people are telling you to that's so wrong on so many levels but you can't you can't go James Charles and say keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media people talking about you and watching what you do it's it's you call me out but why don't we call out people that are actually being harmful and detrimental to your growth James Charles your parents everyone saying that your behavior is okay that James Charles is the victim in every single situ. I didn't want to respond to this because I didn't want to give Trisha the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've now been accused of being a this is not an accusation that I'm going to take lightly. Uh, to insinuate that the relationship between Charlie and I is anything other than just a friendship is absolutely disgusting. I don't need Charlie and Charlie does not need me. I became friends with the D'Amelio family as a whole very, very early on because this is all very, very new to them and I wanted to be a friend and a mentor in any way that I possibly could. And Charlie and I, despite not being the same age, had one thing in common, which is coming to the spotlight at a very, very young age. This is something that Trisha has never experienced because the only reason she is in the spotlight is because she has said things she said that she's done. She offended the trans community. She offended the DID community. She said, "Up out of a guy that voted for Trump and has started a fight with about every single other creator on this platform. You are in no position to be talking about me and my career. So I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age, pack it up and work on holding yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem.